Hey guys, so we have gotten a couple requests for drawings. The first one is how to draw a bear. Um, this one we're gonna do a little bit more than just how to draw the bear. We're gonna actually draw some trees, some mountains, give it a little bit of a scenery. Um, and then tomorrow we are going to draw a large um, humpback whale. So those are our two suggestions. Um, if you guys have any more, please send them through. I love doing those. All right, let's get started on how to draw a bear. So your first step is gonna get some paper. Um, I, again, I really like colored pencils, so I chose colored pencils. Um, I got a few colors here. You can really pick any color that you want, but um, I chose quite a few. We got some grays, some blues, um, oranges and, and yellows to do the sunset, and browns for the, for the bear. Now you can choose um, to do a black bear if you want. Totally up to you. Um, polar bear, really whatever, whatever you want to do. Uh, again, you can also use markers or crayons, anything that you have lying around. Okay. All right. So I am going to take my brown, and the first step I'm going to do is I'm going to start on the face. Okay. So we're going to kind of come up here and do like a little line and a curve down like this. Then we're gonna start here and do its nose. It's gonna have kind of like a square nose almost, kind of like that. And you're gonna kind of loop it around here. Then up here, we're gonna draw his little ear And I kind of color the inside part there. And then we're going to do another ear on this side. Kind of like a little, a little C almost like that. So then over here where you have your square nose, at the top of the nose, we're going to bring that around and kind of separate it a little bit. And then at the tip here, we're gonna draw his nose in. And just kind of like a, it can be a circle. You can kind of square it up a little bit. And then I just color that guy in. And we're gonna just do a little eye over here. Just a little circle. Not a lot going into his eye. And another one on this side too. But this one's gonna be much smaller because it's gonna be behind his nose here. Okay. So now we're going to start to draw his body. So back here on the top of his head, you're going to kind of bring it down a little bit. Like this. And then we're going to come up again. And nice big kind of rounded circle here. That's gonna be the back of his body there. And we're gonna come down here. Now bears, they're pretty big, right? So we want them to have like big legs and paws. So we're gonna come down and then give him a nice big back paw. And I like to do like a little bit of a round at the bottom here. And then come up and back just a little bit. And once you do this part, we're gonna give him a nice big back leg. So you're gonna kinda of go like this. So a line there. And then nice big belly. So we're gonna kinda of drop it down a little bit like this. Give him a big old belly. And we're gonna do the front leg. And again, you're gonna kinda of round it just like that and give a nice big paw and again kind of come up like this then we're going to connect this line here to the bottom of his foot just like that now we want to give him his back legs right so back here you're going to kind of come up just a little bit above this part here and do give him 
his foot and then just kind of come up like that. So his back leg's back there. And then down here, we're gonna kind of do the same thing. And just draw in his back paw, okay? So now you can color him whatever you want. Um, I did brown, so just kind of color him all the way in. Back here, let's throw his little tail on here. Almost forgot about that, didn't we? His little tail on his back. Now make sure when you're drawing this guy that you're hitting pause as much as you need um, because this one isn't like the other ones where we're starting with like circles and shapes. So it really is kind of paying attention where we're drawing these like little curve lines here and all of that. So I'll just color him in all brown. Since I'm using colored pencil, see how sometimes my areas get a little bit darker? That's because I'm pressing just a little bit harder, and that's just creating a shadow. And now those shadows are important because it really gives it that 3D effect and makes it look a little bit more realistic. So it's not just so flat on your page. Now don't color his face too dark because you don't want to lose his eyes, right? Let's color in his ear a little bit, just a little bit darker. Now his two back legs, because they're behind him, they are gonna be shadow. They're gonna have a shadow on them, so they're gonna be a little bit darker. So you do that one of two ways. You can, if you're using colored pencil or crayon, color it and just press it just a little bit harder. Or you can also do just a couple, like color it a couple times, see how I did that light. Now if I go over it again, and again, see how it gets darker? Now if you're using like markers, that's totally fine. What I would do is sometimes the markers, if you go over it and you color it one more time, it'll give you that shadow, or you can use a different color. So like, let's say you decided you wanted to color your bear pink. I would use a purple marker to do your shadows, okay? So now, his nose, I'm gonna use my lighter brown and just color his nose in. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to this darker brown and give it, draw the ground underneath him. So just kind of it doesn't have to be a perfect line. I like to just make it kind of messy, a little bit sketchy, like this. See? Have the ground underneath him. So now we wanna draw some trees. So I drew trees on both sides. So what I do is I take my brown and I create the trunk. So kind of like a little triangle at first. And then I bring it up as tall as you want your tree. And I make the trunk just a little thicker. And I kinda do a couple of these. That way I kinda know where I'm gonna draw my branches, right? Do the same thing on the other side. My little triangle and then up. So this one I want it to be a little bit shorter and I want this one to be a little bit taller. And we're gonna do one more. Kind of in the middle there. And just like that. And again, we're gonna just, a couple of these like little random branches, right? And they don't have to be perfect. 
This is what I love about drawing is you can kind of be messy and kind of put, put lines wherever you want. Especially when you're drawing something that represents nature because nature is not perfect and it kind of does its own thing. So it's really fun to draw that. All right, so then I'm gonna take my green and I'm gonna draw some branches and some leaves in here. So what I do is I kind of start above where this is and I just scribble, literally scribble like this. Okay, and then I'm gonna scribble out. And you see how I'm kind of going back and forth over these little areas a couple times. And I'm going all the way over too because when trees are right next to each other, their branches touch, right? So you're not going to go all the way down though because the trunk is going to be here. So about here, and do the same thing up here. Again, just very scribbly. Let's do this last one here. Sometimes I'll go like this and just make it a little bit darker in some areas. Okay, let's do this tree over here. And sometimes at the top of these trees, I'll go up with my scribble and then I'll start coming down. Because if you look at trees when you go up to the mountains and stuff like that, they're, the branches are kind of all over the place, right? So that's all you're doing. Okay, so now we got our trees in there. We're gonna draw some mountains. So the first thing I do is I'll take like a lighter color, like a gray or a brown. You can use blue to draw the mountains. Now, how you draw your mountains is totally up to you. Um, you can do triangles. Uh, I like to kind of make mine not a perfect triangle. So I'll start over here by this tree and come up because mountains have a lot of like different peaks and stuff. I'll kind of go like this. See how it's not a perfect triangle, but it comes up. And here's the top of my little triangle and I'm gonna come down again, I'm not doing it perfectly, kind of like that. Now I want to draw another one. So I'm going to start over here by where the bear is. Kind of come up. Make it a little bit squiggly almost. We're going to make this one taller. And then come down. All the way off my page. So now I'm going to take my blue. And at the top of this mountain, I'm gonna come down and do a line like this. Now, I'm gonna color this part in, not completely, just kinda like this, a little bit messy. So see how you're coloring all the way down, but. You're bringing some of your lines down like that. You're creating shadows in the mountain. And here where you have a peak, let's do that same thing. Create a little shadow. Just like that. Okay. Now on this side, you have the same thing. So in this line, I kind of do the same little... Color that little area there. Bring my line up just a little bit, kind of like that. 
Now it kind of looks like there's like snow in these white areas. I leave that because, you know, it makes it look a little bit more like mountains. Let's do the same thing on this mountain over here. So I always start at the top here and I just draw a line. I kind of make it squiggly, not perfect. And let's color in again. So do some like shading here and then bring a line down and then come back up and do a little bit, like a short little color and then a little bit longer again. And do that all the way down to where you stopped your line. So short and then long. You can even go really long if you want, kind of like that. And some of these like little areas where you have like little dips, I'll do the same thing. Just a little bit of shading. And let's do it on the other side too. So just pick a couple of random little spots here. You can even go behind the trees, just like that. Okay, so those are your mountains. Now let's draw a sun in the background here. And the sun part, I color in and I really press down on my color pencil. Color that yellow, nice and dark. Okay, just like that. Then I take the side of my color pencil. So I kind of go like this and put it on the side, okay? And go like that. And you're gonna color, see how it's not, and you're not pressing hard, but just like that. And then you're gonna come down here. And you don't wanna do the whole background yellow, just this part right here, okay? And let's do a little bit on this side. Now you can color, some, see how it's kind of grabbing some of the tree? That's totally okay. So now you're gonna take your orange, and again, on the side of your colored pencil, very lightly, you're gonna start at the yellow and go a little bit up, and not very much. See how I'm just doing a tiny bit, tiny line across all the way across your paper. And over here. Now you're gonna take your red. Um, you could use red I, or magenta, whatever, pink, whatever color you want that's close to that. And again, on the side of your pencil, just like that. all the way across. You don't wanna to go to the very top because we have one more color to do. So these are very, like a very thin line. And the last one you're gonna use is gonna be your blue, okay? So then I take that, and at the very top of the paper, I bring that all the way down to the other colors. And go all the way across. Now you can go back and take your other colors and now go over them and just kind of blend them in a little bit more if you want. See how I'm just doing my red just a little bit darker. And my orange. Just a little bit darker. And your yellow is that very last color. Sometimes I'll like bring it all the way to the top. That'll kind of blend all those colors together. Okay. So that, there's your bear and your entire landscape. So I would love to see what you guys come up with. So please um, have your parents post your pictures um, on the Instagram page, Facebook page, whatever. And tomorrow we will learn how to draw a whale. All right, have a good one, guys.